you guys welcome back to fight creek digital and in today's video we are going to go over how to make this curved varsity mama using inkscape really simple to do um, of course you can use it with any type of word even mimi or mama and mini um, any of those will work great you can choose any different type of background you would like i uh, just choose this one because of course it's getting close to valentine's day so we are going with the pink of course in the hearts all right, um, let's get to it. I want to show you some little shortcut keys we're going to be using in this video. And this one is control parentheses, the right parentheses. It'll make, it's going to make our words larger. I'll show you that. And control left parentheses, which will make it smaller. And I'm going to go over that. I just want to make sure you knew these are the uh, shortcut keys we are using. Okay, so let's get to it. We're going to go down here to our page. I'm going to zoom out some. And first off, we're going to go over here to our text tool. And we're going to click on our page. And we're going to put Mama. It is already on the font that I be, uh, I'll be using, which is Mutant Academy BB. I will have a link to this font in the description. That's just so you can follow along, or of course you can use any font you want. Uh, but for the varsity, of course, it needs to be some sort of academy font or college of uh, font for it to kind of have that varsity uh, effect. Okay, so now once we have that, and of course if you're wanting to set your uh, font here, all you would have to do is just click on what font you would want and hit apply and it'll change it to that. Okay. So let's go back to this. Let's make it a little bit larger so you can see what we're doing. Got these here, just little color boxes that I have so I can draw the colors from here. Makes it a little bit faster for the video. Alright, again, here's your mama. Okay. And what we were going to do is to make this curved, like in the picture here, we're going to go over here to our ellipses arc tool, which is basically our circle. And we are going to uh, hold shift and control because that's going to keep our aspect ratios of our circle correct. All right, so we're going to hold control and shift and then, of course, push your left mouse button and just pull out your circle doesn't matter what size uh, because we are going to make this uh, smaller to follow along. We're basically going to put it on the circle. So whatever, if you did it this way, you would have more of a curvature to your uh, word here. So we're going to make it smaller. And by doing that, you just click on your word. Go up here to this little arrow. Again, hold Control Shift so it keeps your aspect ratios correct. And you're just going to pull in. We're going to make it pretty small because we just want a slight circle here. All right, and we're going to put it to the top of the circle. And now we're going to make sure we have the mama selected and we're going to select the circle two by holding shift. Okay, so basically let's do that again. I'm clicking off to unselect everything. And we're going to click on the mama to select the mama. And we're going to hold shift and then click on the circle. So now we have both selected. You see here we have a blue box around both. Okay. Once you have that, you're going to go up here to text and you're going to go down here to put on path. So it puts your word on the path of this circle and makes it curved. Okay. So now when it's in this uh, mode here, anything you do to this circle will change the word. So if you make the circle larger or smaller, it will add curvature to the word. Okay. So say you didn't like the way you had it, you can adjust the circle here to add the curvature to the word that you would like. Okay, so I like that there. To get it to separate where it does not do that, you're going to have to click on the circle. You're going to right click and you're going to hit group. Okay, now you can move that circle freely and it's not going to affect the word. So let's bring it back up. And we are going to rotate it 90 degrees, which is right here, your rotating tool. 
and then we'll make it larger here just so y'all can see what's happening so now we have our mama and we have this nice curve to it okay um if it seems like it's off you can adjust it or whatever you need to do so now that we have our mama we are going to duplicate this one time and you can do that by either right clicking and going to duplicate or you can use the shortcut key which is Control d okay i just use Control d to duplicate it all right now this one is going to be our uh, red and pink outline here and we're just going to do that by i'm going to use these colors now if you had a, a different background you would want to kind of pull colors from that background that way everything is cohesive and matching so we're going to have our center part pink so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the dropper tool and we're going to click on that and then we're going to go over here to the color that we would want and just click on it to make the inner part of our word uh, pink now to make the outer part of our word which would be the outline we're going to do the same thing but we are going to hold shift and see how that little box changed I don't know if you can see it in the video very well but that little box right there changes to that's the fill and this is your outline okay so that way you know when you click on this color your outline is going to be uh, changing to this color just like that okay so now this word does not have an outline right now because we didn't add that this is just the fill down here on this black one. So what we need to do is <clears throat> make this larger for one. And this is where our shortcut keys come in handy. Control right parenthesis is going to make this larger. Okay. So we're going to hold control. Hit the right parenthesis. I like to do it about two times. Okay. And now this here, we don't want this fill. Okay. We just want the outline. So we have our black outline showing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to the black and we're going to hold shift again and add an outline. So shift, click on the black and it adds the stroke or outline to our work. Now we don't want this fill because we want to put our pretty background in there. So we're going to go down here to this X. And we're just going to hit the X and that is going to get rid of our fill. Okay. So now to make this fit inside of our mama here, and you can still see the red and pink outline, we need to make this smaller. So we're going to hold control and our left parenthesis. And I'm going to do it about probably three times. So we have that outline. Oh, maybe I need to do it one more. See if you if you don't get it the way you want, just keep hitting it until you have where you can see your outline. Let's zoom in. See what I'm talking about? Now we can see the red and the pink and the black outline is inside. Okay. Now to be able to get the uh, background in there, we need to just fill this. So we can move it and use the background we would like. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Just make sure you zoom in when you're doing this. Then you're going to go over here to the paint bucket. Okay. And we're just going to fill these letters so we can use the background that we would like. Um, right now, let's see. I'm going to click off. I'm going to change it to red so we can see what's happening. Okay. Now, so we're going to make sure that our stroke outline is off. So we're going to go down here to the X and we're going to hold shift and we're going to hit X to make sure our outline is off when we do this. So we're going to just go over here to our letter with our paint bucket. And like I said before, make sure you are zoomed in and you can zoom in and out by hitting your plus key or your minus key on your keyboard. Okay. So make sure you're zoomed in make sure you have it visible in your screen and you want to hit on the letter with your paint bucket and just go over here and do the next letter and over here and do the next letter 
and so on. Once you have all of those, back up here to your selector tool, or your arrow right here, and we're going to hold shift, and we're going to click on each fill that we just made, okay? And we're just going to move it out of the way. And now is when you add in more background, okay? Now I have this cute heart background, and I'm just going to click on it and drag it in. Um, there's two different ways of you know, putting a file in there. You can go here to File, and you can go here to Import, and then you can go find your file, or you can find your file through here and just drag it and drop it into Inkscape. Okay, so now once we have that, I have four letters, so I need to duplicate this. Well, wait, I forgot something. We need to size it first, so let's size it first. Okay, so we're going to size it to where we want. On our L. And make sure, you know, just try to pay attention to where your hearts are and where you want them on, on your letter. So now that we do that, now we will duplicate this. Because we want all the uh, hearts to be the same size. Okay? So, so once we do that, make sure you click on your letter. Hold select and click on your background. And make sure your letter is on top of your background. And we're going to right click and we're going to do set clip okay now that m is in the shape of our heart paper background so we're going to do the same for the a and we're just going to move it back behind the letter and you can do that by using your uh, keys up here your layering keys and this one right here will send it all the way to the back if you click on that okay so again just move the digital paper around to where you would like the hearts to show. Once you get that figured out, you will click on your letter in your digital paper, right click, and set clip. Okay? And you just do the same for each letter. Move it around to where you would like it. Just make sure that it's still within the uh, square. You don't want to go all the way over here, and then you're just going to have nothing right there. So just pay attention to that. So just move it around to where you want it. Click on both the background in your letter. And do right click and set clip. Same for this A. Move it to the back. Select. Right click and set clip. Okay, now you have your fill. Move it to the front if it does this right here. You just go up here to your layering tools, raise to the top, and let's zoom in so we can see. And there you go. Now you have your cute uh, digital paper in your letters. Bring it all up. And just get them lined up like so. And there you go. Super cute uh, Mama Varsity Curve font. Now, I don't know if you notice in this one I have my hearts are red. And that, that was actually really easy to just change this digital paper by going to the uh, paint bucket and just clicking on the hearts. That way I have some red in here. Super easy. That's what I love about Inkscape. You can just change everything. But there you go. A super cute Mama Curved Varsity font. Now you don't even have to do all that. You could just have left it uh, blank. I see a lot of that around where it's just... Uh, just the outline, like this one here, uh, you can make it uh, black, of course, and leave it black, like the uh, other ones I've been seeing, 
with the uh, larger outline. It's super cute. Just being, you know, just simple like that. You know, you could get rid of this out that red outline here, and you can just have the mama one. So it works for all of that. But like I said, super easy. Um, I hope this video helps you. Uh, you can change it, of course, to any word you would like. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. I really try to answer every comment that uh, you know, someone leaves. Make sure you join our Facebook group. Uh, I like to post these videos on there a lot of the time as soon as I upload them. And also, I'm giving the uh, Mama font, uh, or not font, but the word, the design, away for free. And we try to do a lot of, you know, just free giveaways. Um, I like to share a lot of links for free designs from Creative Fabrica and places like that. So just make sure to join our Facebook group. I'll have the link in the description. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I hope it helps y'all design your own cute uh, varsity font. All right, thank y'all. See y'all next time.